Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Uh, I want to talk to you today about a return that has been ongoing now for two months. Um, and it is, it is over such a stupid thing as well. Um, so I'm gonna, it's about this. It's gonna pop up there, I think. It's a USB fan. Um, I got bought this for my birthday from my mum a, a year or two ago. And I've just sold it as new. It, I've never opened the case. I've never been inside it. I've never done anything to it. So I sold it as new. Um, it sold on, um, well, the 18th, 18th of May it sold. Um, and this was after he bartered me down. It was only on for 4 uh, and he bought me down to three pounds. So this thing has cost three pounds, plus two ninety five postage and packaging. So it comes through uh, six pounds basically. Pays two days later, not straight away like I've got my uh, info down to do. But it, I don't mind. It pays two days later, and I post it. Now. Um, a week goes by when I get a message opened up requesting a return because the the clock lights the you know the one to twelve don't work apparently when it goes round. So I apologised straight away. I said I explained that it was brand new in the box. I would never have gotten it out to have a look. Um, I apologised, um, and I said um, I was gonna. I was. I was deciding whether to just refund it because at the end of the day, this is three pound item. Uh, but I thought, with it being brand new and sealed in the box, you know, I, I want to. I just want to have a look at it and see why it's not working. So I asked. Um, I held out on the refund. And I basically said, um, yeah, I'll send you a postage label um, and post it back to me and I'll give you a refund, not a problem. And immediately I went on Royal Mail website. Um, I paid um, four pounds for a second class small parcel signed for return postage. So this postage that I had paid was already worth more than the items sold for, but I was that suspicious. I wanted to, I wanted the item back to see because I've had a few returns lately that have really annoyed me, and I don't think are actually real. So I wanted to see this in my hand to see the problem with it. So I sent it on the twenty seventh of May. Now we're on. I sent the postage label straight away through eBay, so it's all recorded through eBay. Um, and I I keep checking Royal Mail tracker service every four or five days. I was checking, nothing yet, nothing had posted, nothing had posted. Twenty seventh of May this was. Twenty seventh of June, a month later. Bearing in mind. They only had till the 27th of June, and that would have been the month over with. His return policy wouldn't have been accepted. Um, so he's, he's he's overdue returning it. He's, he shouldn't be allowed to return it anymore. But he's two days overdue, and he posts that he's posted it. So I was like, well, it's coming back. Let's have a look. Uh, the next day, I check on Royal Mail's tracking service. Nothing. Nothing's been posted. Uh, two days later, the 29th of June, when I'd checked the tracker, I messaged the gentleman and said, look, um, you've said you've posted it. It's not on the tracking service. Um, but when it gets here, if it gets here, I'll refund you the money. Um and that, that was it. And nothing. Nothing. Um, so that's, that's a month. That's over a month after now. 
Okay, we skip nothing. I hear nothing now till the 9th of July. Now, 9th of July is six or seven weeks after the initial post, the initial return. Um, so the 9th of July comes, I get a private message through on eBay, not through eBay, th from himself, direct, saying, I'm really sorry, mate, I've lost your postage label. Um, if you want your item back, you're going to have to post me another return label. Now he, he knows that he paid £3 for the item. He knows the first one cost £4 because it had the price on it when I sent it. And now he's asking for a second £4 return label. Well, no, it's not going to happen. He thinks I'm going to refund it now because it's not worth my time and effort to send a second label. Um, I didn't reply to him. I sent nothing after that. Um, and then the 11th of July happens, which is today. They open a second case against me because the first case was deemed to be put on hold. So I get a message from eBay today saying we've opened another case against this item. Um, we're going to investigate and get back to you. Now, by this point, I'm really annoyed because I've made multiple efforts to try and contact this gentleman. He says something is wrong. I've I've spent more money on postage than he paid for it to have it returned. To him to, lo to him to lose it and ask for a second one. Now I just think now he just wants a refund for it, and I don't know if there's anything wrong with it or not. And I'm, I'm suspicious to think there is anything wrong with it. I think he just wanted his money back. Thought he tried it on for his money back. So. I've pondered, what do I do? Do I wait for eBay now to get in touch with me or not? Um, and I've decided, no, I'm going to ring eBay. I've never rang eBay before. Like I said, as you guys know, I'm a complete amateur. All I do is sell my own stuff, really. Nothing. I don't go out and... I don't go to charity shops, I don't go to car booths, anything like that. So I'm not really... I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I rang eBay... I spoke to a very nice lady called Jane, who asked for my case ID, the details, um, and we had a we had a two or three minute conversation about the timeline of things, how they went, how it had been over a month since he even contacted me, uh, and not not returned it, and how I'd already paid for postage and he's lost it, apparently, uh, and how he wanted a second one. Um, and she put me on hold for about four or five minutes while she discussed my case. Um, she came back on and said, um, I'm really sorry, Mr. Mitchell. Um, I've got to put you on hold a bit longer. We, we're still looking into this case. So I said, that's not a problem. Take as much time as you like. I appreciate you looking at it for me. Uh, hold again for another th three or four minutes. So I've been on the phone about ten minutes by now. She comes back to me and she has returned in my favour. Thank you, eBay. Thank you. I am adamant this gentleman is trying it on just to get his money back. He thinks he can keep the fan and get his money back. That's what this gentleman has been doing. And eBay have looked at the evidence and they support me it's been over a month since it's been returned it should have been returned it should have been returned on the 27th of may it should have been returned but it wasn't uh, we're now on the 11th of july and they've returned in my favor so i'm so happy i rang ebay and i was a bit worried because i'm not i'm not like some of the other youtubers on here i don't i don't make thousands of pounds a month um, I didn't know how they'd take me. I didn't know if they'd even listen to me. But yeah, the moral of the story is, if you think you're being done, stick by your guns. Because this has been a battle of wits. We've been back and forth with this gentleman since he first cheekily offered a, a reduction in the off and on buying it. Uh, I've had nothing but issues ever since. I've had times when he's not answered me back when he should have. 
I've had times when he's double opened cases against me um, and I've done nothing but being nice to the gentleman. I've been courteous, professional in the messages. eBay have seen all those messages. It all went through eBay and they have ruled in my favour. So I am absolutely chuffed. So yeah, moral of the story, no matter how big or small you are, if you think you're being taken for a ride, don't give in. Because I, I could have just refunded £3 to that gentleman. And it's only £3. I mean, Christ. Maybe I should have just done that. I don't know. But something didn't feel right from the start. And I think I've been proven right that I, sh I should have stuck to my guns. So, yeah. If you're in the same situation, you think something's not right, call their bluff. Send them a return postage and, and wait for it to come back. If there is something wrong with the item, it will come back faulty. And then you then you issue your refund. It's cost you a bit of money, but you know you haven't been conned. But when you've got that gut feeling, something just ain't right, you stick with it. You know, spend that bit of money for the return postage. Call the bluff. eBay have been proven today to have been on my side and I'm so grateful for that as a seller eBay get a lot of um, they get a lot of stick actually eBay do from sellers sometimes and some of it rightfully so um, but you know my personal experiences with eBay so far I'm pretty impressed I got straight through on the calls there was no waiting on the phone uh, I don't have to worry about the item coming back. If it comes back, it comes back. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But I don't have to issue that refund. It is closed in my favour with no other cost to me. Thanks very much for watching the video, guys. It's just a really, really short rant, really, about a return. Another return I've got. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe the videos. I don't post very often. It's not just about eBay and um, reselling as well, my channel. My channel is also about money matters in general, really. Um, I'm going to be posting a video shortly about some of my other income streams and about passive income and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It would be amazing if you could do that. If not, don't worry about it. Uh, but until then, thank you so much and put your trust in eBay.